Hello again. When we spoke last week, I said, could you please have a look and see if you can find any old fishing reels uh, in boxes that maybe you've bought and haven't used, you've bought and collected and no longer want, and haven't you done well? Look at this. You've all gone mad. And all of a sudden, there's stuff come out the lofts, come out the tackle rooms, and just come out of everywhere. In it, the collections we've had, we've had a great selection of Mitchell and Abu with a smattering of Ryobi Japan coast fishing reels. These are brand new old stock from a shop that closed about 20 years ago. So it's great to get this sort of item. You normally find reels like these Mitchells and you say, oh, they're, they're as new or they're meant and just a couple of scratches. These are brand new. Some of them have got the old price tags on them, which vary from pounds to pounds and shillings. And we've got uh, Ryobi Auto Bale. These are the ones oh, which are similar to the uh, Mitchell Match Reels. Super smooth, Japan built, very high quality. We've got a whole range of Mitchell 1120s and 40s. Unusual box there in the blue colour, one for the collector. And then a whole bunch of Abu Cardinals with the rear drag. And of course the Cardinals are stamped on the foot so you can date them. Everything of course is usable. This black here is where it fades over a period of time. And I'm told with olive oil in, and rub them in there, the black comes back again. But if again, you're after the boxed collectibles with the paperwork, brand new, they're absolutely lovely. These came as well. These, <laughs> these are dinky little things that are fully operational reels, a fixed spool and a multiplier in what looks like a triangular cheese case. These are great, these, these were two pounds. So I gave the man two pounds and I thought, well, that's nearly my five a pocket money go for the week, but I would take a chance. Also, we had one of these lovely hardy uh, smuggler rod in its leather tube, which is great, all the way up to a Penn Senator 90. And then on top of it all, a couple of missing pieces. I said I wouldn't sell. I was told I couldn't sell them. I could have them, but I've not to sell them, I was told. Because the gentleman I spoke to who is a uh, fly caster, fly instructor, doesn't do anything to do with lures. We were chatting about Barracuda that I fished for in the Florida Keys. And he said, oh, I've got some American lures. And these are from Minnesota. And they are rad dog lures, all handmade. You get these monsters for the musculunge pike type fish. Apparently they run, they run up to 50 or 60 inches long, which is a massive thing with big jaws of it. So he, he sent, he gave me one of those. This also came from the same company, which is like one of our jerk baits, I suppose, or crank baits. But what was nice is the chap who made them sent them to our guy, a lovely little card saying these were made, they were made by the owner of the company. He came with a little card with it. He even had wrapping paper designed to go with it. So what a cool thing. There's an article here from the local newspaper on how local man in Minnesota catches big fish. So not a great amount of value to it. I'm not allowed to sell them, so it doesn't matter. But it's amazing what's hiding in these cupboards. So get digging. Thanks for the effort so far. We need lots more. Boy, have we got room. So anything like that, mint boxed, course, see our game fishing. Give us a call. Like the video, share it with your friends, and I'm going to try one of these in a rod and see if it'll actually fish.